Hi, today is Sunday, December, let's see, 20th, um, and I have open house party on right now, as well as bar rescue, but yeah. Anyway, here's the lowdown on what happened this week. So it was the last week of school, um, my last week of school actually. And everyone else's, excuse me, before Christmas break, everyone else's last week before Christmas break, and it was my, la my last week, as in my final, final week. I'm not going back to school there again, which is really sad because I'm going to miss my friends. And, yeah, this, um... Really sucks that I'm not gonna see my friends, you know, in person really that much anymore, and it sucks. Hopefully, I'll make some new friends when I start working at ABC. Um, which, for those of you who have just joined, this vlog is um, a vi ability blah, ability building center. And to the person I gave a message to in my partial air checks videos, I hope that, you know, if you're watching, if you, the, who said open house party in that, are, is watching, or are, are watching, and that used to work at KDWB, or no, not work, but do voiceovers for KDWB, if you're watching... This is the for the British lady. Um, if you're watching, um, if you're just watching, welcome. And uh, um, this is my autism and me vlog. Um, and A B, like I said, A B C stands for Ability Building Center, um, which is a. If you don't know, this is the day program, or. If, some of you other people that are that watch my vlogs don't know this. Any of you new viewers, it's a you know program like a vocational, which means work type program. But um, anyway, what happened is this week, like let's see, Monday was really not that eventful. We didn't really do much. Didn't have music, though, on Monday, because they forgot I was still in their music class. Tuesday, um, Tuesday, they, they, um, ask, are you still in our music class? I'm like, yeah. And so then they told me what they were going to do. Um, they, they told me what they were going to do or Mr. Berglund did, and he, just so you know, he is one of the, he is a teacher at the school who teaches multi-challenged, which is basically lower functioning students, um, that are, um, multiply disabled, like, most most of it's like people in wheelchairs or people with severe autism or other disabilities. I have autism, but yet I was not in that program. I was in the normal, because I, I was able to do the normal work, and that's why I was in the normal class. Is because I was able to do... the normal work that was asked of me. And the students um, in this class aren't. And then what happened is I went to hit to his classroom and watched The Grinch and the, the it, not the 2001 version of the, the original version. 
um, the Grinch and um, part of Horton Hears a Who, because they were the same movie. Um, and then we went back to the dorm and did some stuff. Tuesday wasn't really that eventful either. Wednesday, well, well no, when I mean Wednesday was, we had our party, and our music teacher was back. <laughs> Turns out she had been sick that whole those two days, and her voice was gone, and she had lost her voice. So we, I went to music as usual on Wednesday, because everything was back to normal. Then we went to um, the holiday party. I had fried chicken, um, and because they were ordering Chinese, I had fried chicken in um, the dorm. Because um, I I used to stay in the dorm uh, four days a week and go home on Fridays. Um, and then, like I said. The, um, thing, the, uh, what am I going to say? Duh, sometimes I cannot think of what to say. Then, um, Wednesday we had, I had fried chicken. It had bones in it. And it was really hard to eat because it was this fat piece of chicken. Um, uh, and all that stuff. It was this, like, big fat piece of chicken. And I had trouble ripping it up and... Or no, I didn't travel. But when I ripped it up, the insides were starting to come up, to come out, which I thought was nasty. So I just I ate a couple pieces of the chicken, and then I ate my mashed potatoes, and I had a fortune cookie. And I know I'm not supposed to tell people fortunes, but I'm gonna tell you mine because this is just so me and so weird. I have a magnetic personality, <laughs> it says. So, um, and then we watched a Christmas story a Thursday where I I did not open the flaps on the popcorn bag when I was cooking the popcorn like you're supposed to because I played Christmas Jeopardy and won popcorn. Um, and put it in the microwave <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ended up Undercooking the popcorn. Put it in for another minute. Almost burnt the popcorn. <laughs> so I had to take it out early because I could smell that it was starting to burn. <laughs> and yeah, somebody had to make another batch of popcorn for me, and I did not like that because they acted like I did not know how to make popcorn. It's not that I don't know how to make it, it's just I was rusty. Because I hadn't done it in a long time. So, yeah. And then we watched A Christmas Story. and ha I had flavored water, which I had also won. And hot cocoa. Oh, and I forgot to mention, during our holiday party, Santa Claus came to school. Told him what I wanted for Christmas, and he gave me like this little blanket. Um, I don't know if I can show it on, on camera, because this camera does not pick is not picking up any of the images for some odd reason. Um, it has Scotty dogs on it. And then I got a wallet and a blanket because the pants I originally got were too small. And you got to, there's a game you played, you got to trade presents. Um, but the, the blanket. I, but I had already gotten a blanket from Santa, from Santa Claus. So what I did was I gave the blanket, the throw blanket that this friend had given me that came with the wallet, to my little nephew named Eugene Asa. And he's like three or four, I think. He's just so cute. I miss my nephew. So anyway, that's pretty much the lowdown. On what happened this week for my last week of school. And I would. And I'll send you part two.